Hello, I'm Derek, and in this video we're going to have a look at one of XDBug's new experimental features, the control socket. I introduced this in XDBug 3.3, but we're going to see some more improvements in this for XDBug 3.5. Let's have a look at what this does. So here I have a script, uh, which is meant to be a long running, a long running worker script. So we have this while loop, while true. It obtains a task from uh, what we have. In this case, we sleep for some time, get a random number and return a number, which we then echo. Nothing fancy, when we run it, it looks like this. It produces a new number every 100 milliseconds. Nothing special. Now, of course, because we're doing many tasks here, I haven't set my debugger for incoming connections yet, as you can see here. And of course, when I now run the script, even when I have the trigger on, it won't do anything. As you can see, I get a warning from Xdebug here that it couldn't connect. What would happen if I want to debug a new task? I can't just set a breakpoint here because breakpoints are only sent to Xdebug when the ID is in pause mode, which it isn't at the moment. In a matter of fact, it isn't even listening yet. If I would go to run listening for connections, nothing would happen because Xdebug only tries to connect when the script just starts, and it started a while ago now. So how do we get around that? Well, there's a few different ways of doing that. The first one is to call a specific function. Let me demonstrate. First of all, I'm turning listening off again. And before each task, I now run another function. Xdebug connect to client. Every time this function is called, Xdebug will now try to make a connection to the ID. Let me run this on the command line to see how that looks like. Now for every number, it is trying to connect to the debug client. And of course it can't do that. But when I now run this, and I'll make sure I have a breakpoint here. If I now go to run, start listening, it will stop immediately on the next line after obtain task because now every time it tries to connect and now it works. And of course, now I can single step. Not particularly the most interesting thing. And so on and so on. If I now press continue, it will stop at the next breakpoint. That is also great. So let me disable the breakpoint and continue running. So now the debug says it is connected. But when I now click a breakpoint, again, nothing will happen because you can only send breakpoints to Xdebug when it is in pause mode. And it is, of course, not in pause mode now. So that's a problem. I will stop the script. Let me show you another place where this is an issue. For that, I turn off the listening mode again first. And then we basically do the same thing. In order to debug with that correctly, what I should have done is indeed the following. Let me demonstrate that too. First, we run the worker again. I then enable listen, and then it stops here again. After doing some steps, instead of then pressing continue, I can press detach. In some cases, this is not a button that immediately shows up, but you can add, an, add them yourself by right-clicking and doing customize toolbar then adding actions, add action, and then find detach here. I already have it, so I won't add it again. So that shows up here now. That is this button here. If I detach from a session, Xdebug will disconnect and it goes back into its normal mode. So if I click this now, however, of course, it stops immediately at the next breakpoint again because connect to client still will make a new connection. In order to make this not work, I need to now disable stop listening for debug connections and then click detach from session. 
And of course, now XDebug will try to connect at every number again. And I can debug the next task by going to run, start listening again, and then we start all over again. However, if I don't have a breakpoint, this trick doesn't work because I disable the breakpoint, I detach, and now, what is happening now? Xdebug is connected to the ID, but there is no breakpoint. And I can't set one, because you can only set one when the ID is paused. Now, the new feature in Xdebug 3.3 and 3.4 is something called a control socket, in which case I can make this work. The control socket is basically a way of where Xdebug checks every set amount of, of milliseconds whether a command has been sent out of band. You can send commands with the new xdebug tool. If you call that with ps, it shows you all the running PHP scripts. In this case, it's my worker manager from earlier. It also shows you how much memory is in use and how much time it's being cast, uh, called. If I call this again, you can see that this number is larger. But you can also call pause with it. And when you call pause, it basically instructs xdebug to make a connection to your ID. Or in this case, we, because we already had a connection, it will then signal a breakpoint and that stops immediately, no matter whether we have a breakpoint set or not. So let me detach now. And then the script will continue, as you can see here. If I now run pause, it will show you breakpoint signal again, which is all excellent. If I stop the script, of course, the script will actually abort. This even works without the trigger at all. So if I start my script here and I call pause, the first thing to do is says ID connection signaled, which means that XDBIC has now made a connection, but we have no breakpoints, so nothing happens here. If I call pause again now, it will then stop on the first possible line. And now I can just look at the script itself and do my standard debugging. If I'm done with it, I can either go continue by clicking resume, because if I want to pause again, I can just run pause and it will stop at the next line again. And then it continues. Also, if I click detach, The next time I run pause, it will then create a connection to the IDE again. Again, nothing happens. That is okay, uh, because we have set no breakpoint. Let me do this once so that we actually have a breakpoint now, and it pauses. XDBook is now in pause mode, so that, which means I can send breakpoints. So I'll send one here. I will now detach. And when I call now pause, it will make a connection to the ID and it should also stop at a breakpoint. And it does there because the moment a connection gets made, uh, PHP Storm sends the breakpoint and then XDebug stops at the next line. Now, if it is in pause mode like now, if I then run pause, I'm getting an error because it's already in pause mode. And while it's in pause mode, XDebug doesn't check for what's happening on the control socket. Right now, this is a feature that only works on Linux, but we have a pull request for Windows in the make. It is also possible for IDEs to now attach to running PHP scripts and selectively start debugging them, even though the script is already running. Of course, however, that requires the IDEs to add support for this. I'm expecting that to happen in the near future as well. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.